Nate Herbig, St. Louis, Hawaii, offensive guard. What number is your, your jersey number usually? Uh, 65. 65, why 65? Well, it was really the only one that fit me. Report to the white tent, all our volunteers. This was an interesting uh, camp. Is it, is it similar or different to other camps you've been to? Uh, it's similar, like I uh, went to the Rivals camp in LA and there's a lot of good competition, but everyone, they don't respect the 808, but it's nice to see a lot of coaches out here because the 808 got talent and we're all out here to compete. Why do you think that is that uh, for a small state that there's so much so much available talent at the high school level? Um, because for a lot of these players, it's a way to get out and make a living. And we, we like to be underrated and it just burns a fire inside of us. I don't want to take anything away from the mainland, but there's definitely something special about all the boys out here on the islands. They work, and I just respect that. And I hope more coaches come out to see us. So San Diego State was first? Yes. Who's their coach? Who's their recruiting guy? Um, Tony Sanchez and Coach McGuire, or McGarry. Uh, he was uh, really interested in me, and he liked the way that I did at the LA opening, and mm. I just very thankful for the opportunity to get a scholarship from them. Do they, the stuff they do, it fits, it fits your strengths? Oh, it definitely does, because I'm more of a downhill guy and I like to get physical, and that's the kind of offense that they run. At St. Louis, since uh, <laughs> Coach Cal came in, and Coach Brown especially, yeah. it's a lot of, um, you know, Coach Cal, back in the day, they ran the four wide with Coach Brown, but then short yardage, power eye, yeah, tight yeah. end, double yeah. tight end. I mean, he's not exclusive to, I mean, but right now, do you feel like, in college, you get to showcase more of your blocking, your run blocking? Uh, I I do, but I'm not all about run blocking. I want to show that I can I can be move my feet and be physical. And I think that helped me a lot coming to St. Louis and playing with the run shoot offense. I got a lot more athletic on my feet and I can move laterally. Well, it's a lot different. Um, well, this was run blocking today, but we're going to do pass blocking. And everyone out here and competing and it's pads, but Derby camp is physical and there's a lot of good coaching and these players have been coached up for months. So when we bring it together, they already have moves. Over here, we're getting coached on the fly and it's really, not really much learning. It's just learning on the go. Yeah, and it's I, hard to te teach somebody something like yeah. in like two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Which one do you enjoy more? Run blocking or Derby are here. Or as far as like what they do here and then what you do at the Derby camp. Um, and Brian Derby, he, he taught me so much. I've grown exponentially in my run blocking and pass blocking skills from him. And he's probably one of the greatest offensive line coaches that I've had. And he's mentored me to where I am now. And I have a lot of him. He, he only wants the best and he wants us to live up to our full potential and there's nothing else that he will accept. He only accept the perfect block. Yes, sir. Well, the five schools that are interested in you, they're here. Are, how many of them are here today? Uh, all of them except San Diego State. Okay. And the last guy I just saw you talking to the UNLV coach. Yes. Is he a line coach? The yeah, guy he's who... their offensive line coach. So he's the guy who recruited you? Yes, and the head coach, Coach Sanchez. Coach Sanchez is here too? Yes, he's here. Wow. Those guys are, they're not fooling around. Yes, sir. Even though their program struggled, they're, they're new? They're new, yeah. And they, they're not, they're not going to back down to any of the best schools in the country. Definitely. And I respect that from them. I appreciate them believing in me that I can get the job done. Who do you think wants you the most? Um, I would have to say Washington State. Why, why is that? I have a great relationship with Coach Joe and Coach McGuire, and they message me. I talk to both of them almost every day. Oh. So that, that's legal now. And not too long ago, you couldn't text players. Now you can. Yeah, yeah, on, on Twitter. Yeah, you can text On players. Twitter, you can. You can message can, them. Can you direct text players on their phone number? No, no, you cannot. Oh, you still can't do that. Oh, okay. But on Twitter, it's all good. Yes, yes.